In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the NASA API. This is what the final result will look like. Once you have everything set up, you'll be able to make an API call to the NASA API endpoint. And once we hit send, we will now see back the results of the specific API call. To start this process, you just need to go to this website, api.nasa.gov. Once you're on this website, just click on Get Started. And it's going to ask you to fill out this information. I will just fill this out very quickly. So I'll just put like some information, put my email, and just click on Sign Up. And once you have successfully signed up, you should now see this exact message giving you your API key. Just copy this link. And if you haven't already, go ahead and download Postman, which is an API client, and just switch to Postman once you have copied this link. And with Postman open, now just go ahead and click on this plus icon to create a new request and just paste the link that we just copied and hit send. Once you hit send, you should now see a response back from the server. And this is the information that we get back for this specific API call. If we go back to the NASA website and click on Browse APIs and click on the very first item here that says APOD, we can read more information about the specific API call that we just made. So the call that we just made gives us back the information related to the astronomy picture of the day. If we click on a link here, we can read more about it. But basically, it's just like an image that is featured and has like a brief explanation written by like a professional astronomer. And if we go back and scroll down a little bit more, we can see the query parameters that we can pass in to get different results back from this API call. For example, if we wanted the image from yesterday, we could just pass in the month, day, and year in this specific format in order to get yesterday's picture. The next API call I want to show is called the Near Earth Object Web Service. If we click on this, we can read more information about it. And as you can read here, this will retrieve a list of asteroids based on the closest approach date to Earth. Looking at the query parameters, we can see that we can specify a start date, end date, and we just need to pass in our API key. We can just copy the example query here and then switch over to Postman. Then we can create a new request and just paste in the URL that we just copied and just make sure that we replace our API key with the API key that we generated earlier. Now we can just hit send and see back all of the information that relates back to this specific API call for near Earth objects. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see other information, such as the size of the estimated diameter of the asteroid in like kilometers, meters, miles, or feet. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can even see like the relative velocity. The next API call I want to show is the Earth Observatory Natural Event Tracker. If we click on it and we read the description, we can see that this API will list out all the natural events that happen around the world. Unfortunately, for some reason, the documentation link here is like not working. However, I did find a working link. If we just switch over back to Postman, uh, this tab, I already have the working link here. So if you just copy this exact link and make sure it's a get request and just hit send, we can now see all the natural events from the NASA API. And if we scroll down, we can see things such as like the title of the event, I have linked to it, as well as a bunch of other information related to this specific event. And the very last API call I want to show relates to the Mars Rover Photos API. This will allow us to retrieve photos from the Mars Rover. And if we click on a link here, we can see all the different cameras that we have access to. If we scroll down, we can just copy one of these example queries. So I'll just copy the very first one, switch over the Postman, and just make sure to create a new request. And here I went ahead and pasted my own query, but just make sure to replace your API key with the one that we generated from earlier. Once you have all this set up, just go ahead and hit send. Once the request is complete, we should now see all of the data related back to this Mars Rover photo API. If we click on the first link here, using Postman specifically, we'll just put this in another get request. And if we hit send, we will now see the actual image back from the Mars Rover. If you want different images from the different cameras, we can select which camera we want an image from by going back to documentation. And we can see that the camera name here. So for example, if we want to do the navigation camera, we just need to put that value as nav cam and the key as camera. So inside Postman, we can go back to our original API call and just put the key as camera and just put the value as nav cam and just hit send. Once you get a result back, we can now see we have a list of photos from this specific camera of nav cam. And if we just do the same thing where we click on this link and send the request, we can now see this is like another image specifically from the nav cam. And that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the NASA API. If you find this tutorial helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.